This is the WD 4 terabyte My Passport portable hard drive with password protection and it also has software backup to back up your entire system. I've used Western Digital hard drives for a very long time and uh, I just decided to upgrade my storage because when you're making a lot of films and taking a lot of photographs you need a lot of storage. So let's have a look see what we've got inside here. Do a little bit of unboxing therapy. There you go. We have got, oh, it's actually smaller than my um, one terabyte hard drive, which is also just a digital, my passport. opens like this you've got two little flaps there well look at that so this is what interests me you've got this double USB connector here which means that theoretically I guess you can use your old um, micro USB devices to transfer stuff to this as well uh, you've got standard USB on this end and two different size USBs on this end. They're calling it a super drive, a super transfer. Western Digital Backup, Western Digital Security, Western Digital Drive Utilities. Now the drive utilities, if you want to use those drive utilities, you've got to sign up and activate a warranty. It comes with a three year warranty, I believe. Yeah, three year limited warranty. There you go. This is my old one terabyte hard drive from Western Digital, my passport, and this is the new one. As you can see, the new one is slightly smaller and slightly fatter than the old one. Well, look at that. And this one connects via the same procedure, the same double thing. I've never had a problem with this drive. But you know, this is one terabyte, this is four terabytes, and I think I paid less for this than I did for that. But this is like, must be four years old now, maybe even older. But it's never let me down, never had a problem. So I've been using Western Digital products for ever, really, since I've been in computing, which is like almost 40 years now. Every time I've used a Western Digital product, they've never failed. And so that's why I buy them. And you know, on my channel, I only buy stuff and I only show you stuff that I actually buy myself. I don't have sponsorships. I don't have paid uh, sponsorships or paid stuff like that. So this is a, a, you know, purely my own stuff that I'm buying for my own storage because I'm making loads of videos and I take loads of photos. So I needed to upgrade my storage. And the other thing as well is when you're running out of space, like you do on this thing, you start thinking, well, maybe I should delete stuff. Maybe I shouldn't delete some of those photos, delete some of those videos. And then six months later you think, oh God, I had footage of that, that dam or that building and I deleted it. So sometimes it's not a smart idea to delete stuff. And if you've got cheap storage like this, this is like, I've seen these for 70 pound on eBay, 99 pound on Amazon, or 90, 90 pound, 89 pound on Amazon. For the sake of a hundred quid, you haven't got to go back to that venue or that site and do that shoot again because you've already got the footage. Sometimes you shoot a place and the weather's bad or it, the, the conditions are not so great and you think, God, that's awful, I can't use that. And then a few months down the line, you think, now there's an example of how not to shoot something. So these are you know, useful to back up your data. You don't have to delete so much stuff, just keep backing it up. Obviously, if they're completely out of focus and all that kind of stuff, then get rid of it. But other than that, you should try and keep as much footage as possible because you never know when you're going to use it. I've got videos from back in the 1990s and 1980s that I've still used on my YouTube channel. So, you know, tr I try not to get rid of anything if it's, you know, film, especially if it's film, because film is very, you can't replicate it. It's a one shot deal. You either get it or you don't. This thing is powered off of the uh, laptop, by the way. So you just plug that in. So it's USB 3, so it's 10 times faster than traditional USB, or the old USB 2. Shove that in. When you boot it up, this is what you get. 
installed discovery for Windows, installed directory for Mac, so you've got both options there. Shows you a little hard drive icon over there. So if we just install it, yes. You can share info or do not share info. It's up to you. So you can import your stuff from social media, Facebook and all the rest of it, if you want. It's downloading something from somewhere. 60, 71. Enhance your experience with apps. You don't have to do all this if you don't want it. You can just use it as a, uh, you know, plain storage. Um, well, it's doing something, so I thought I'd just let it run, see what you think. Keep your content in sync. Don't have to do that either. Because this is, for me, it's just dead storage. So um, my hard drives are never connected to the, uh, the internet because you don't want hackers getting in there. Cloud storage, okay, that's my Google Cloud. Unless you've got loads of stuff on social media, which I haven't, then I really would bypass this stage. Seems a bit pointless. This is really starting to get annoying now. 100% done. Now what? Let's have a look, where are we? Import data, no. Set a password, what the hell? Skip all that. So now this hard drive is linked to the web and you can get your other bits and pieces if you need it. But I don't really want this on the web, so I'm gonna take all that off. I'm gonna format that. Okay, so let's move something to here. 24 gigabytes, it's gonna take three minutes. Well, we cancel that because we ain't all day. Let's try something else. Done. So now if I were to open that. Okay, so that's stored. That's how you use the Western Digital 4 terabyte hard drive. And uh, pretty simple. I don't really like that whole link into the internet and all the rest of it because that's not the purpose of this thing. The purpose of this hard drive is to back up my videos. That's the whole point of it. So I don't see the point of having all those apps and all this. You know, for other people, maybe, yeah, but not for me uh, because this is purely storage for my videos and photographs. Anyway, that's the end of today's uh, introduction to the Western Digital 4 terabyte hard drive. And thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye now.